Welcome to the Microtronic booth here at SMT Hybrid Packaging. Uh, I'm joined by Ernst Egler, who's the Geschäftsführer, I believe. Uh, welcome, yes. Ernst. Welcome. Okay. So, a couple of big uh, improvements to your uh, wetting uh, balance tester here. Uh, you've increased the range from 4 grams up to 160 grams, I believe, or, or, or at least. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the basic idea was, Trevor, at the moment, existing machines could only test components, PCB components, SMD and everything. And we had customers coming with big connectors like this one mm -hmm. that wanted to test them. Right. So we have developed an additional machine or a variety of this machine called the LBT210 Heavy Duty HD, mm -hmm. which can do much larger components. Right. So now instead of having components that can only go up to four grams of its own weight, mm -hmm. we can now go far over 100 grams mm -hmm. and it is just a major impact for us right. on this product. Yeah, it's, re it's really opened up the, the range of, of components that you can, you can test. Has it made any difference on the actual testing results on the larger devices? No, not really. I mean, you have a larger device, you have a machine that can hold a higher weight and measure a higher force. Right. Other than that, it is the same thing. Same, same, same. Yes. Okay. And we still can achieve the same accuracy. Mm -hmm. So even with the HD machine, you can test smaller components. Mm -hmm. The smallest we have tested on this machine was an 0402. Okay. 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 Interesting. So I believe you've also got a, a, a version of it that's got a safety feature uh, at the other side. That's uh, correct, yes. Okay, so uh, so that um, why do you need the safety feature to come down? Obviously, there's a lot of heat involved there. Uh, it's just a, a, a protection, is it? Yes, that's true. I mean, this is an open environment here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's meant to be in a lab. Mm -hmm. People could burn their fingers or stick a finger into a moving part. So as long as you have properly trained personnel, it's not such a big problem, but picture this machine standing in an environment where you have a production, where everybody could go to it. Right. So we have made another version that mm -hmm. is just back to back with this machine now, mm -hmm. that is meant for production environments, safety regulations, requirements, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. So as long as you don't have a lab where you can lock, uh, limit the access to the room, you need to protect your workforce. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So um, you've got another uh, new development here for Microtronic. Uh, you're, you're starting to uh, work as a distributor of the scanning electron microscopes from Pemtron. Um, uh, so uh, can you tell us a little bit about these and uh, uh, what the key features are of the, of the Pemtron system? Yes, the Pemtron SEMs are a new addition to our line as of four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So we launched it here at the SMT show in Nuremberg. Mm -hmm. The machines are extremely compact. Mm -hmm. They offer a lot of features. Um, the zoom range or the magnification range for the machines goes from 50 to 100,000 okay. or 50 to 300,000 times, depending on the version of the machine. Right. Uh, the beauty of it is also it comes for a very affordable price. So we are selling it at the moment for under 100,000 euros. Uh, what about the sample size? I mean, it's a benchtop model, so presumably it takes a, a smaller sample? Uh. Well, it depends on what you define. I mean, you're looking at a high magnification, so the samples you need to insert are not as big. Mm -hmm. uh, this machine has a sample or sample holder that is up to five by five centimeters, mm -hmm. and we have divided it in seven smaller parts, which you can actually turn and manipulate like a revolver. Right. So if you come with more samples than one, you can put them in the machine build up the vacuum, start to analyze, and then without having to change over, you move on to the next sample. Right, okay. okay. And that makes it very versatile. Absolutely, okay. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, I think the final thing I want to touch on is a con the contamination uh, testing system at the back. We've got something I believe you're going to tell us about later, but uh, I think you're developing something quite exciting for that. Uh, can we talk about that? Well, I can mention a little bit about it. Okay. Our contamination test machine, or for mm -hmm. ionic contamination, we call it CONTEST, mm -hmm. um, works with isopropanol and water as yep. the IPC standard requests. But since with isopropanol you're washing also ions out of your materials, like the PCB board or the components, mm -hmm. um, with modern age fluxes, your results get falsified. I see. And we are working on a new uh, technology here using a water-based mm -hmm. solvent mm -hmm. uh, 
Um, we have a patent on it mm -hmm. that has been filed and accepted. And okay. we are probably going to launch and publish this towards Proctronica this okay. year. All right. Well, you don't need to tell me any more, Ernst. That's, uh, that's it, enough to sort of whet the appetite. But uh, uh, we'll There's look forward. There's a lot to come. <laughs> okay. So we'll look forward to that. Anyway, always good to catch up with you. Um, congratulations on the the extre extremely large range on your your uh, wetting balance tester, uh, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing more from you later in the year. Thank you for coming by, Trevor. <laughs>